Hello, welcome back. Um, okay, I was just about to say, what are we doing again? Let's, uh, okay, we gotta train four, uh, times again. Let's go ahead and do, um, do the little, the little nipper again. I'm not sure if we're gonna get, uh, he's by far the weakest, so, I mean, I wanna do most of the, uh, the stat increases on him, I suppose, but, uh, I'm not actually sure how long this is gonna be to where if it's, um, like, are, is everybody going to get to level 10, so then it's not going to matter? I mean, in, the, in which case, dude would be, uh, like, overpowered uh, if I do all the training thingies on him, but, again, I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your little fucking weak-ass kid punch. A chop. Bitch slap to the face! Oh, man. Can we curb stomp him, please? I would really just like to see that. <laughs> okay. Let's go again. I'm trying to think. I, I mean, I should maybe do... I'll do one on the on uh, Sir Chunks a lot. Oh, man, that was a kick that time. All right. I'm pretty sure that that's not a good... Um, that's not a good kick to throw. Uh, I mean, I'm not a martial arts expert or anything by a long shot. But uh, anytime, uh, supposedly, uh, when you're, like, in a fight, you're not supposed to... Well, one, it says, don't ever throw a kick like that, because all the person has to do is reach their arm out, and they can catch it easily. And that, now they got your now they got your foot, like, hooked under their arm, and now you got to stand there on one foot. And um, they also say that if you don't know, if you're not, like, trained, like, if you don't know how to, like, throw a proper kick, then you shouldn't even bother. <laughs> Okay, just because it's it's too risky of a of, of a move. I don't know if you've ever seen like um like fight videos or even like AFV or something where someone will try to kick and they just fall down. They just they just swing their fucking foot and then like the momentum of like all the weight of that leg like throws them off balance and then they just like flop to the ground. And then if you're in like a real fight, I've actually seen it where they they'll be in a real like a real actual fight. And they'll do that shit. It's like, oh, great. Now you're just on the ground in front of your opponent. And then they just get the shit beat out of him. Oh, man. Did he take two hits? Did I hit him twice and he's still alive? Actually, it said he went... It said he leveled up. So he's actually gaining experience for losing, too, for some reason. Yeah, he went to level four. Now he's at level five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... One of these guys was at level four and one was at level five. Let's do one on him just since we didn't, or since we didn't do um, one before, one in the last one either. Man, your 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 fucking back boobs are bugging me out, dude. Okay, I don't remember. Does this guy have more life? Just because he's like big, maybe they gave him a lot of hit points. Pig's feet? Does he have to take off his shoes to do that? <laughs> why, uh, like, why is the symbol... What is that? Is that... Is that, like, a skull koala bear or something? It looks like, um... It looks like a... It looks like a skull, but it also looks like a koala bear, sort of? I don't know. Oh man, he's still alive. Okay, you done? You done, son? You done, son? Oh, I thought I missed. All right, I run up and kick him in the junk. He's got his legs open right there for you. All right, all right. Mister, gotta be honorable and not kick a downed opponent in the nuts. Okay, Mister Fucking Saint here. Yeah, he's nicer than me. Okay, we're done training here. So I wonder what's gonna happen next. It's been a little rough on them. I'm sure they'll deny it if I bring it up, though. Uh, well, the the little kid and the chunky guy probably won't. <laughs> Boy, they fell right to sleep, even on the hardwood of my floor. Hmm? Where's you on? Oh, is he gonna be out training still? He really wants it, doesn't he? Yeah, called it. Yeah, but you don't know how to fight, so just 
trading by yourself, you're not going to learn anything if you don't, if you're not being like taught proper technique and shit. Samo may be strong, and Lee may be fast, but I still won't let them beat me. You don't know how to fight, though, kiddo. It's like trying to like learn to play the guitar, and you want to like become like the best guitar player, and you're just sitting there by yourself. It's like, well, you kind of well, actually, in all fairness, you can't actually teach yourself to play guitar. Um, you all now have a good grasp of the basics. So yeah, that wasn't a good uh, example. But when you're learning like martial arts, you, you, you're not gonna be <laughs> you're not gonna get better if you like don't at least have like a foundation and like know what you're supposed to be like doing. From this moment forward, you will obtain power by fighting directly with me. I thought we were fighting directly with you this whole time. You're asking for it, Gramps. Can we have more food after we train? Man, dude. That's like the fucking... Definitely like a one-track minded character. Like, jeez. Must have been easy to write his dialogue. Just, imp just implement him wanting food in like every line of his text. The improvement is astounding. Four matches should be plenty. Now, who to start with? Um, well, let's let's make. Should we make sure everybody's the same level? Okay, Lee's at four, and uh, Samuel's at six, and okay, so we'll do um, we'll do um, Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Lee rather. It's uh, it's, Br it's Bruce Lee's uh, wife, Miss Lee, right? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we're just gonna do regular fucking punches. I know it's probably not super exciting to watch, but... No need to get fancy here, right? Plus, it'll go quicker if I just hit the attack I know I want to hit instead of going, Which attack should I do to give him numbers? Or her numbers. I do sort of wish that they would have given the moves, like, names that were easier to, like, to, like, say. Just, just so that, like, I don't know. I mean, you look at, like, Final Fantasy, like, it's always, like, Fire, Fire 2, Fire 3, or, or Fire, uh, Fire, what do they call it, Fira, Fireaga, or whatever. You at least know that it's fire, it has fire in the name. But when it's just a bunch of, like, Chinese words, like, I don't know the language, so it doesn't, like, I don't know, like, what the translation is. Phew, three more. Uh, he went to level five, right? We'll do one more. Maybe he'll go to level six. And then we'll do, uh, Yuan. How do you... The dude's got, uh, a uh, chick or whatever. If I say the wrong gender, just whatever. I'm not worried about it. Um has two U's right next to each other, so how do you pronounce that? Is it like, ooh, ooh? You just pronounce each U? Uh, like Jeff Dunham or whatever, like Peanut would always go, Jeff fa, fa Just pronounce both F's. We actually did see uh, Jeff Dunham uh, at EAA. It's supposed to be like in... It, like, it's, what, it's like a really big aero... I don't know, it has like shit to do with like airplanes, and like it's really big, and people from like all over the country go there. And, uh, we saw Jeff Dunham there. We actually didn't... That's, like, the only thing we went there to, to do. Like, because, like, I don't give a shit about airplanes, and... It's one of those things where just, like... You know, a lot of times people will just go to stuff just to go to it. Like, even if they're not interested in, uh, in airplanes. It's just something to... Oh, excuse me. Like, they just like to do stuff just to get out of the house. So it's like, really, are there really that many airplane enthusiasts? I mean, I mean, yeah, there are some. I mean, there's people that, um, my grandma said that they went there and, um, just, just like, made small talk with someone and, um, and they, uh, had an accent and he asked where the accent was from. They said, oh, we flew from Australia to, to come here. It's like, damn. Can you imagine being such a big fan of something that you fucking flew, like, over an ocean to, I mean... I don't know, I guess I could do it, like, with, like, a gaming thing, but, like, I just don't want to... That's a lot of money to spend on that, so you'd have to have a lot of disposable income that isn't going towards other shit. I mean, I do, I do like, you know, obviously gaming stuff enough to do it. I just, I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't, I guess. 
It's like if you like gaming that much that you want to go to a gaming convention, just think of all the games you could have bought with the money that you went on the trip. I guess it would depend on if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna see, uh, maybe, you know, like, get to see, like, Todd Howard or something, or, or, you know, like, famous YouTubers will be there at, like, a PAX or something. But, I mean, if, you, if it's just gonna be to, um, to, like, to, like, play demos of, like, games or whatever, it's like, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of doing that. Let's go ahead and do the last one with Yuan. Because I reckon he's probably still going to be the weakest, even though he's the... Yeah, he's still, he's still like, super low on HP. I figured he'd be the weakest, even though, um, even when his level matched or whatever. Just because he is a, a kid or whatever, so they made his stats lower. But when it, com when it comes to, like, hey, play this demo, the game will come out in two years or whatever, it's like, what? I, I don't know, I would rather just not know that a game's going to come out until, like, a couple months prior... Because otherwise, what you know? Otherwise, you're just living your life, just counting down shit and like looking to the future for shit. Like uh, there was people like when I worked at Taco Bell, there was people there who were looking forward to Skyrim coming out for a whole fucking year. So then, for an entire year, I had to come to work and listen to people talk about the latest Skyrim leak or whatever. The, they're like, oh, they they said there's gonna be dragons. And then they're like, oh, they said there's they said there's gonna be you know, the, the, like, every time a fact was revealed, there's people that just follow every single f piece of information as it comes out. I mean, I guess that's fine. That's just not something I'm not a bit, you know, I'm not a fan of. Uh-oh, he's getting old. Are you okay? I was going to, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I can't let you guys see me weak. You were just stronger than I thought. Looks like I overexerted myself. Right, right. Oh shit. Now they're gonna do the test to see who can break the rock, right? Actually, if, um... Okay, I'm, okay, I'm glad I don't have to, like, keep on doing this. Slip past a quiet spring breeze. Today I will teach you how to defend yourselves. To fight properly is not merely to attack your opponent, after all. I believe you're all ready to handle the next step. So we haven't learned any defensive moves up to this point. <laughs> Golly. What kind of master is that? N -n no It wasn't me this time, I swear. What? Oh no, nothing like that. Some guys from Wong Town came to Yuan Hua Market End. Uh-oh, we're going to have to do like a real... We're going to have to put our ninja training to the test, like in uh, the Three Ninjas. Must be the Tiger King. Do they think the master doesn't care about Yuan Hua? I don't know if that, that's probably not how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Don't be cocky. You alone will not be able to stop them. Or rather, while I am sure that you can beat the stuffing out of them, one mustn't fight fire with fire. Aggression only leads to more hatred. I, I those really do look like um like T's and here it, it would it would have said might uh, mustn't tight tire and I was like it, it must be an F. Your minds have not been trained yet. I am sorry. Well you could have just told them that. Be like, don't fight fire with fire, okay. Now your minds are trained. I'm pretty sure that when you teach someone martial arts you don't just compartmentalize it be like here we're gonna we're gonna train offense and then it's like okay now we're gonna train defense okay now we're gonna train your mind like it all you kind of do it all at once sort of it's like if you're learning to play guitar and you only learn like three notes and then once you can shred with those three notes then you add a fourth note <laughs> actually i don't know i guess that's kind of what you do with um with guitar hero right <laughs> I keep using, apparently, I, I keep thinking the guitar would be, like, a good, um, ex like, metaphor or whatever, but it keeps turning out not to be the case. But, I mean, Guitar Hero isn't the real guitar, so I think the metaphor works better in this case. Okay, is there a reason to be in here? Uh, not entirely sure. I don't think so.
Wait, we're not all gonna fight? So am I gonna have to, like, talk to them? Since I, like, scolded them for wanting to fight? It's like, you can't fight fire with fire. Okay, so then how are you gonna, like, defeat them? If you don't get to, like, use aggression and, and actually fight them? I probably, I mean, I don't know which uh, place to go if we're supposed to go to this place or the other place. Uh, everything seems... Okay, never mind. Bring the bear! Bring the food over here! Sorry, I'm gonna need you to uh, use, like, entire words, please. Let's drop a save, yeah, just in case. Hey, cutie, come here! Okay, I'm, I'm hurrying, I'm trying. It's that Xing Shuang Shuang jackass. You can either leave here now, or you can get hurt. I'm sure you don't want that, yes? You think I've been horsing around since we last met? I've mastered... <sighs> Yi Po Min Kung Fu. Eat this! Okay. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about this fight. I must have been... Uh... Yeah, I remember fighting these guys. I don't remember. I don't remember the fight really that much, though. I must have been distracted or just talking about something. Is that like a snake posture? I wonder, or a snake stance? I don't know. Body bash. Hey, I can hit. Uh, I can counter diagonally. That's cute. Gotcha! Take that! Right on! Well, your whatchamacallit kung fu only did like 11 to me, so that's not, um, not a very good, uh, not a very good form of martial arts, I guess. This isn't over. Master Odie Wang Lee will beat your tiny bony ass. So, have you verified that my ass is in fact tiny and bony and, um, and yeah, that's uh, that says more about you than me, actually. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just sit here and go ding dong ding dong every time one of those things comes up. Uh, I knew you could do it, Master. I know it's like super offensive sounding to fucking people that that's actually their words, but you know what I mean. Come this way, oh la la! Why well, you shouldn't be showing off peaches that young? Ha 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 ha! Oh, that's funny. My, that is a b beautiful beach. Oh my gosh. A peach bun, is it not? Hmm, should I start calling it that? <laughs> wow, that was... <laughs> oh, that was a great joke. Master, thanks. Oh, man. I... Panda? No, I want... I want to, I want to see the peach again. Chow chow, can I chow chow this girl's peach peach? Don't touch me! Oh, how dare they, master? Wait, why are you yelling at me to not touch them? You know, oh, did, was I talking? Did you hear me? Was I talking out loud? I meant to not say the peach thing out loud. Oops, I meant to talk to, um, Mr. Spazzy here. I knew you could do it, master. Is this name just owner? Why couldn't they just give him a damn name? <laughs> Finally, I've cooked our local. Our local, local delicacy? Uh, here you go, it's on the house. They did the, 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 like, I forget what it is, it's like an optical illusion where if you have the same word at the end of one line and then at the start of another line, uh, you might not catch it, you might just read over it. I'm guessing, uh, the people that, uh, did the translation probably fell victim to that. Okay, so, are the, is the panda, can we, like, equip that? Is that a helmet? Panda helmet? Uh, okay. Must not be... I mean, unless it's... Oh, here we go. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I don't think these are special moves. These are just uh, things that will just increase our stats. Um, Should I... I'll put them on you for now, but then when we get our other people back... I'm not sure if we're going to have to do more fighting just by myself. Oh, should I talk to all the people? Maybe they'll give me stuff. Hey, they are. Cool. Oh, man. That's actually probably pretty good. Now it kind of makes me want to talk to everybody else. Thanks for your help. This fucking dude gave me a martial arts tome. The least you can do is show me your, uh, beautiful peach. Actually, well, I don't know. 
It's like, your, your peach might be a little too old, but it varies. There are people that are in their 50s that are still uh, smashable, I would say. Um, 10 IQ. Man, it's like the Romance of the Three Kingdoms where you just equip a tome and it just increases your, um, like, in, like, what do they call it? I forget what they call intelligence in um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. The fuck do they call it? I don't remember. I mean, I do know, I just can't think of it right now. Peking pot? Okay. Alright, I gotta say, I kinda, it is kinda nice where, I mean, I was expecting like, maybe like one person to give me something, but yeah, they're fucking dishing out the, sh the free shit, I'm all into that. Uh, let's see if there's anything, um, uh, anything else that we got that we can put on. Oh man, that gives us eight defense, that's a lot. I'll put this on for now, but, um, when I get the, when I get other people, I'll see who needs it. Um. Okay, so I have to go probably. Let's see. Oh, well, now it kind of makes me want to go this way and talk to all these people too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't. Um, I didn't save this uh, part or whatever of the town, so that's why the people aren't going to give me stuff. Hello. And who that? And who that? Yeah, why? I'm not sure why it won't let me. Um, didn't I have one last? I could have swore I had one last uh, healing thing, and it would just not let me give it to him. Maybe I just gave it to somebody else instead, and there actually is one more somewhere. Even his grandmother caught the plague. Well, she lived a full life, right? Oh my gosh, it's just like in real life. You ever get stuck behind fucking old people? Yeah, I was at the, uh, the farmer's market this morning, and, uh, and, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, even though the road is wide, you know, people that walk in groups walk, like, you know, horizontally, and then if there's, like, a bunch of old people, then you just gotta go to the left side to go around them, and then there's people coming in the opposite direction, so you gotta kind of, like, brush past them. Okay. I know I'm a bit older than I was last time, but will you still let me in? Okay, I'm still not allowed in there. Alright. I need to stop letting uh, old men into the, uh, the, the, uh, the Catholic Church. At least to be uh, preachers or whatever. Yeah, that whole thing. I can't even believe that, like, that whole thing is still fucking going on. And, they're, you know, like, they're still, like, not doing anything about it. They're just covering up and... Cover, cover, cover! Sweep under the rug! Sweep under the rug! Sweep under the rug! And just trying to... You know, they're paying out... I forget what the number is, but, like, they've paid out, like, billions of dollars. Like, the Catholic Church has paid out, like, billions of dollars to, like, people's families. For them to just keep quiet about this shit. Just so that, um, you know, just to cut back on their bad press about it. Instead of just, you know, stop uh, molesting the boys. Yeah, it's funny that funny how that never comes up. Actually, they, they, uh, they did an episode of South Park about that that I liked a lot. Where they were like, uh, the one dude, like, was like posing as a preacher. Actually, it was the one, it was the preacher from South Park. He goes to, like, the meeting... Like the big meeting of like all the preach, all the preachers of or all the Catholic preachers or whatever, and they're like, everyone's everyone keeps uh, reporting the molestations. Like, what what can we do to get people to like not report it? Or like, what can we do to fix this problem? Like, how do we, you know? And then they're just like, and then the one guy was like, well, how about we just stop molesting the little boys? And then it causes like an uproar. They're like, no, we have to, we have to, you know, we have to bribe them, we have to threaten them, we have to do that, you know, like, they're trying to figure it out, they're trying to figure out how to, uh, attack us. Oh my gosh, they died because of you. Well, now you, even though you're the only pupil left alive, you're definitely not being uh, my successor now, since you fucking pussed out. 
It's all my fault. Okay, well, if there, you got three holes to jump in and kill yourself. Feel free to take your pick. Is he really going to console him? I was about to say, please don't fucking console him. It's like, two, two people died because of you. Yeah, it's not the time to make you feel better about yourself. I kind of feel like you should feel bad, actually. Are you going to regret this for the rest of your life? Yeah, when people die and it's your fault, you should probably regret it for the rest of your life. If you think this is your fault, then you'll have to solve it on your own. You can't solve it because you, you can't bring him back to life. The only way to solve this problem is to go back in time and fucking and make it not happen. You're not entirely to blame. They were my responsibility as well. Really? I guess it's a child. Maybe a child will believe that, but it's like, come on. They were my responsibility. Well, when you were the one that could have prevented it, then... Okay. I guess I don't have to... It answers my question if I have to choose who to be my successor. Oh, Lee, not you too. Ugh. Is Lee actually not dead? Er, you'll regret this, so... She is dead. I'll never forgive this. Evil men, you shall rule this day. Oh, so much for fighting fire with fire. Oh, you can't, you can't match her with regret. You can't just be aggressive and just lose control or whatever. I'll be with you all soon enough. Wait for me. Like, they have a choice. What else are they going to do? Okay. Let me show you something. Pay very close attention. Watch me break these two rocks. It looks like the, the words are, like, coming out of the rock. I'm really too old to do this, so I'll only do it once. Is he gonna break that rock? Has that rock been... I mean... He's been, a, he's been here since he was younger. So why hasn't that rock been broken up to this point, I wonder? Oh, he's not gonna, uh, break it? To your sight, and to your mind. Oh, man. It's like a mind meld. Except he's gonna transfer his fucking knowledge or something to him? No. Well, if you're going so fast, how am I supposed to, like, watch you and be able to emulate it? I bet you won't be able to do this just yet, but you'll soon understand. With your skills, it won't take very long. Skills. It's like, well, you didn't have the, you didn't have skill uh, last night or whatever. That's it for today. Rest well. Where are you going? I'm leaving and hoping they come back and kill you too. I'm just going to pray for their souls. We can move again. Yes. Okay. But yeah, that, that was... Um, I like how they, they handled that situation. I think I've said this before, but one of the things I like about South Park is that like they'll handle... They'll take an issue, like the child molestation things in the Catholic Church or whatever, and like address it. And it's funny how all this money that they've paid out and like how many times it's happened and for how long it's been going on couldn't help you to be proud of your body. Forgive me, Samo. But uh, the obvious solution is to just fucking stop doing it, you know, in the first place. And that how that thought has, like, never occurred to them. <laughs> They'd rather just dole out billions of dollars than to, like, than to have the Pope say, Hey, guys, take it easy, you know. <laughs> I could have taught you so, so much more. Forgive me, Lee. We could always have taught someone more. And I hate to say it, but, you know, being... I mean, I kind of, I mean, I don't know, I guess, when you say be proud of your body, it's like, if you're too proud of your body, then you won't want to uh, change it, you won't want to improve it, if you think it's good enough. It's kind of, it's a weird kind of line to where you do want to appreciate it, I guess, because it's keeping you alive and stuff, but at the same time, you know, if you're too, you know, if you're proud of a 
you know, an unhealthy body, then you're not going to strive to make it healthy. Oh shit, okay. I thought I already did that, okay. It's kind of like, uh, just in general, like if, if you're one of those people, not you, but, you know, someone who just blames everyone else for their problems, you know, part of their, you know, they don't think they ever have to change because nothing's ever their fault. So that can be like a mind trap that people fall in. And then what, you know, you spend years just claiming that you're just the victim of circumstance and that everything is everyone else's fault. And so then you're just like, well, you know, nothing was my fault, so I don't need to do anything differently. And then you don't do anything differently and you don't learn from your mistakes. And then uh, shit keeps happening the same way. And then nothing ever improves and you're just kind of spinning your wheels and kind of going in circles in your life. And then you're wondering why shit ain't getting better. And then you just spend your whole life just mad at everyone else and everything else. Oh man, I don't know if this will be audible, but... We have these, like, storm sirens or whatever. And, uh... Oh, excuse me. There's one that's, like, sort of close to my house. And it... It, it, it goes off every, uh, Saturday at noon. Just to, like, test it, I guess. Where the fuck am I supposed to go, by the way? And then, it, like, I'm pretty sure it, like, spins around, so it gets quiet and it gets loud again. Okay, so, there aren't that many places we can go, so our options are sort of limited. Which, it could be seen as a bad thing, but on the other hand, it's, it, like, and it, you know, it's, it's also kind of good, because then, if I don't know where to go, I don't have 50 billion fucking options. So, I mean, you can't physically be lost for that long, because there aren't that many places to go. So, I mean, I can't actually appreciate a, appreciate a setup like this, where you only have a few places to go. Because, like, I mean, we played RPGs, or, you know, I reckon, maybe, I mean, you've probably played RPGs, but I'm pretty sure everybody who's a gamer has probably played an RPG where you just, where there's, like, a huge fucking town, and you don't quite know where to go, and you just have to spend a half hour walking around the whole town, figuring out the one damn thing to do. Speaking of the one damn thing to do, I actually don't know what it is, but it is time to end the episode. So I'll just walk around uh, off camera, and uh, we'll pick it up when I find the next thing. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.